All right, TYT Investigates is doing a series on the Trump tax cuts. They like to call it tax reform. We're gonna talk about a part of that right now. And we have some former George W. Bush officials on the record that talked to TYT. And we're going to quote those for you guys to give you context on whether tax cuts actually lead to jobs as Trump administration claims. First of all, this story goes back to 2004 because this is the last time they were thinking of doing what they call a tax holiday or a tax repatriation. So the reason for this is that a lot of the major companies, they call themselves corporate America, but they are not. They're multinational corporations. They're owned and run by people from all over the world. They have no allegiance to America whatsoever. They make a lot of money abroad, nothing wrong with that. They're supposed to bring the money back into the country and they won't. Because if they do, they have to pay a normal tax rate, which is 35% in this country. In reality, nobody actually pays 35%. The effective tax rate for corporations in America is 22% because of all the loopholes. So they always say, "Oh my God, it's the highest in the world." Not true. They, in reality, pay only 22%. But they don't even want to pay that. They didn't want to pay it under Bush. They don't want to pay it under Trump. And luckily, they bought Congress and usually the president, so they usually get their way. And back then in 04, some context from Alex Kane, who wrote this story for TYT Investigates: The Bush plan created a one-year tax holiday in which corporations could repatriate overseas profits and pay taxes on them at a rate of just 5.25%. So think about what um, highway robbery that is. They're supposed to pay 35%, but they got a holiday for one year and they could only pay five and a quarter. So they brought back billions of dollars in uh, money. And at the time, a lot of us said, well, if you do that once, then they're gonna keep their money abroad all the time looking for another tax holiday. And here it is, another Republican president and they are considering another tax holiday because corporations don't want to pay 35%. They don't want to follow the law. They just want a, a, a crony capitalist who will give them exactly what they want so they could pay a lower rate than you, even though they make billions of dollars in profit. Okay, so now to the Trump administration. Gary Cohn, the National Economic Council director, says, We do envision imposing a one time low tax rate on all overseas profits, which will bring lots of money back home to the US. So yet another tax holiday, they'll bring the taxes all the way down. Corporations won't pay their fair share of taxes. They'll move that tax burden onto the middle class, that's you guys. They'll screw you over one more time, but they'll say they're doing it in service of jobs. In fact, right now the administration says that reducing the corporate tax rate on overseas cash will boost domestic investment and create jobs. So, hence this investigation. Well, the last time they did a tax holiday in 2004, did it actually create jobs? In fact, that bill was called American Jobs Creation Act. Now, in the bill, they had nothing about jobs. It was just lowering corporate taxes. So multinational corporations were ecstatic with that bill. But did they actually create the jobs? All right, let's find out. So even at the time, the Treasury Secretary, John Snow, had actually reported to Congress, we're kidding. We're doing marketing on TV about how it's gonna create jobs and we called it the American Jobs Creation Act. But in reality, this is a quote from Bush's Treasury Secretary. He said he has concerns regarding the fairness of the repatriation provision. US companies that do not have foreign operations and have already paid their full and fair share of tax will not be able to benefit from this provision. Moreover, the Council of Economic Advisors analysis indicates that the repatriation provision would not produce any substantial economic benefits. So they knew all along that they were lying. They knew that they were never gonna create any benefits for the economy. It was just benefits for multinational corporations. And by the way, not for American companies, because as even their own Treasury Secretary admitted, if you're just an American company within America, that bill would not help you 1%. It is only for multinational companies that wanted to bring their, uh, their cash uh, back into the US and didn't want to pay their fair share of taxes. Now, TYT Investigates has caught up with Harvey Rosen. He is the former Council of Economics chair for the Bush administration. So he was part of the process that led to that repatriation holiday. Well, here's his quotes. He told TYT when the tax repatriation holiday was being discussed within the White House, the big issue was whether it would induce businesses to invest more and hire more workers. In various meetings, the Council of Economic Advisors argued against this view. So they knew it's not gonna create jobs. That's great propaganda, that's great marketing. 
but it isn't actually gonna bring you any jobs. Only the benefits are gonna go to the executives and cash buybacks, which to be fair, helps some shareholders, but doesn't do what it says it's gonna do. So more from Harvey Rosen here. Uh, after my CEA colleagues, Council of Economic Advisors, Kristen Forbes returned to MIT. She published academic research, which showed that the repatriation holiday had no discernible impact on companies' investment and hiring decisions. No impact on hiring decisions. They lied to you back then, they're lying to you today. In fact, let's uh, give you some context on that. A wide range of studies published after the 2004 repatriation holiday took effect confirmed the Council of Economic Advisors predictions that the measure would not help the US economy. Those studies concluded that the tax holiday did not boost investment or domestic employment and found that many companies cut jobs instead. Because they never had to follow through on it. There was nothing in the bill that says, okay, if you get this tax break, then you must hire American workers. There was one provision in there about how it shouldn't go to increasing executive pay, which the corporations laughed and laughed at. They're like, <laughs> yeah, right. How in the world would you know if the increase in executive pay is because of the tax cut or because of some other issue that I made up? And guess what? They never enforce that provision. On the record, there is not one instance of the US government saying, hey, wait a minute, did the executives actually take this cash and take it home? They never bothered to enforce it because they never meant it. But <laughs> that was nice little window dressing. They didn't even bother to put any enforcement in, hey, will you guys actually create jobs in America? So they, the corporations got all the money, got the biggest tax break in the world, and then turned around and said, well, I'm still making more money outsourcing the jobs. So you guys here in America, you're fired. The government's a bunch of you know, losers that I bought. I gave them campaign donations and they gave me a multi-billion dollar tax break. On that tax break, Think Progress had done some uh, uh, previous work on this. The amount of money that they paid in legalized bribes, I mean campaign donations, and lobbying money, you put it all together, they got a 24,000% return on investment. You see, the first time these corporations give to a politician, they're taking a gamble. The second time they give to a politician, that means that they got a return on investment. They're like, good, this guy will do exactly as we tell him, and he will just give us money and not, you know, not look out for the American people at all. And that is exactly what they're planning with the repatriation tax again. Now, even Bill Clinton has said several times, and Bush has never corrected him on this and never said that Clinton is wrong. Bill Clinton has said on many occasions, and I'll give you one quote here. He said, Bush got so mad that he signed the repatriation bill, and he said none of it was reinvested. Now, this is, it's maybe damning with faint praise, but a little bit of credit to George W. Bush. He, he really was not very bright. And there would be times where he would say, wait, aren't we creating giant deficits? And, and Cheney would say to him, yeah, don't worry, deficits don't matter. And he's like, oh, okay, I thought, deficits, I thought we were saying all along deficits do matter. He was a really stupid guy. And he was manipulated by Cheney and the other guys. So they told him, hey, boss, don't worry, man, lower the corporation's uh, tax bill to 5.25% 5 .5 and they'll bring jobs. And he's like, "Oh, okay, I guess they're gonna bring jobs, okay. <laughs> and he signed it and now everybody in Congress who's equally corrupt went along with it. Afterwards, Bush found out, it turns out they didn't create any jobs. And he's like, I got hoodwinked again. But they put Bush in a place because he was a blank slate. He had no ideology, he had no ideas. All he knew was you deliver for the guys who put you in office and that's what he did. And later he's like, oh man, we didn't get any jobs. Well, golly gee, I couldn't have seen that coming, right? But if you couldn't have seen it coming in 2004, you can clearly see it coming now. They're going to give another giant billions of dollars of tax cuts to not American companies, multinational companies. And they will have no provision in there to actually create jobs in America. It'll be one giant lie that was proven to be a lie back in 2004. Everybody confirms this is a lie today, and they will pretend that they're doing it on your behalf. No such thing. They're doing it on behalf of their donors. This system is absolutely sick. So the next time you see somebody on TV talking about how this is gonna create jobs, it's nothing but absolute lies. It's proven to be as such, and it's a trick, and don't fall for it.
By the way, wolf-pack.com, man. You got to get money out of politics. If you don't, they're going to do this to us all day long. And you're not going to get the rest of the media to help you. When's the last time CNN or any of the cable news outlets were like, hey, we always say tax cuts are create jobs, and the Republicans say that, and we take it at face value. But do they actually? Should we do an investigation? They don't have investigations at cable news outlets because they don't want to find out. It, it wasn't that, it wasn't that hard to find out. We get that's how we got former Bush guys on the record saying, yeah, of course it didn't create jobs. Look, thank you for being part of TYT and 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 the audience funded TYT investigates so that we can actually investigate and bring you the truth. And the reality is there ain't no jobs coming from this. It's just more legalized bribes uh, that have a wonderful result for the people who bribe the politicians like Donald Trump. It rebuilds the swamp. It is the definition of crony capitalism. Get the money out right now. Otherwise, we're going to be living this with this forever, young Turks. Help us build independent media together. Come join us, tytnetwork.com slash join.